Alright YouTube, so what we have today is Todd Howard did an interview with AIAS Game Maker's Notebook. Never fucking heard of it, but apparently it's some sort of podcast. And he pretty much confirms that Bethesda is pretty far along in whatever the next major game is. Now the interview itself is over an hour long, so I have not listened to it yet, and I'll have it all linked below, but I will try to listen to it at some point, but we're mainly here for this little bit of info. What with all the new additions of Skyrim that have been coming out lately, it's easy to forget the Bethesda Game Studios' last big game, Fallout 4, came out almost three whole years ago. But studio executive producer Todd Howard has suggested that the next big game might be coming soon. In an interview with Ted Price for the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences Game Maker's Notebook podcast, has a hell of a fucking name, Howard discussed a new animation engine the studio is currently working on. YouTuber Just Dom points out that Howard says the new animation system is going to be used on a project Bethesda currently have in pre-production, while the project in full production is using the old system, presumably the one used in Fallout 4. Actually, reading over that now, again, it seems like they actually have two things that they're working on, because they the new animation system is going to be used on something that is currently in pre-production, while Todd Howard says that the old animation system is being used on something that is in full production. The article goes on to point out that whatever this game is that is in full production that's still using the old animation system has to be pretty far along because they can't switch over to whatever this new animation system is. Because if they weren't that far along in whatever this game is, they could really just switch over to the new system at any point in time. But if they're super, super far along or you know maybe halfway done or something, they don't want to start all the way over so they're just continuing with the old way. And I don't mean the old way in some sort of like negative connotation, it just makes sense like if you're pretty far along in a project, why the hell would you want to start over? Now obviously we don't know what either of these two games are, the pre-production game and the full production game. We just do not have an idea at all what these could be, but it is kind of cool to know that whatever like next game's coming out is probably going to have kind of the old animation style, something similar to probably Fallout 4, but whatever's coming after that is going to have a whole new animation style. That's something to look forward to. And see, I don't think there's anything wrong with Fallout 4's animation. I've defended it since day one in 2015. People always shit on it because it wasn't up to par with other, you know, PS4 and Xbox One games of 2015. But, but the Fallout series and even, like, the Elder Scrolls series don't really need, like, the best graphics because they're role-playing games. I don't really need the world to be as beautiful as possible. I just want an immersive world. I want a very large world and a lot of things to do. That's all I really care about. We've speculated about what the next upcoming titles could be. We could do that in this video too. Could it be Starfield, the next Elder Scrolls, the next Fallout, whatever the two like unannounced games are. Who knows? The main thing to take away from this video, and, like this article and things, and this interview that Todd Howard did with this on this podcast, is that expect something new at E3 at this point. The fact that there's a game that's in full production is pretty it should be pretty close to being done, I would say. Or at least enough that they can give like a release date, maybe a trailer or something like that. Expect something new at E3 this year. I can guarantee it. Shout out to my man's Trouble Dead on Twitter for linking me to this article. I mentioned when to come home today. It's been a few days since I made a video. Didn't know what I wanted to make a video about, and he shot me the link to the article. But if you guys want to get speculated in the comments, let me know what you think that this next couple games are going to be from Bethesda. We don't know what they are just yet, but as always, I hope, of course, it's the big ones. I would love another Elder Scrolls, another Fallout, but I'm also down for a new IP from Bethesda. Anyways, if you guys went on to enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter at the Dashing David. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys.